Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tevs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Devant 43 inches smart LED TV. Model 43 UHD 201. Not turning on, and no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. You can help this channel by liking this video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now and hit the notification bell to never miss a video like this. So let's get started. Obviously, these two resistors are burn. Let's remove the main board so we can easily test more of the damaged components. Always check if the main capacitor is charged or not before examining the main power supply circuit. Not charged so it's safe. The fuse is blown. Let's remove this heat sink together with the MOSFET and the rectifier diode to see the components under it.
The PWM driver also burnt and the other components. The MOSFET is shorted as I expected. Luckily the rectifier diode is ok. The secondary rectifier diodes are not shorted and the optocoupler seems ok. The power supply circuit is seriously damaged. If we replace all the burnt components and the MOSFET, it will take more time to work on it and I don't have that PWM driver to replace with. So we will again modify it. Let's remove all burnt components. Most of these components will not need any more if we modify the power supply circuit. We will need this capacitor and this diode and resistors for the VCC supply. We also need this ceramic capacitor that's connected to the optocoupler and we get to that later. We will use again the STRW6053N. Using this for modification is easy and safe. Let's position the IC source pin to the pinhole on the board.
Don't forget to put a thermal paste. These two pins are the BR and ground which is pins 5 and 7 they will solder together. Let's solder a wire to those pins that need to connect later. We will first connect the VCC which is pin 4 connected to the positive of the electrolytic capacitor.
Next the pin 6 is connected to the optocoupler and this is the ceramic capacitor that I say we will need it. These resistors will be the OCP or overcurrent protectors which will be connected to pin 3, and it will be replaced with 0.33 ohms 2 watts resistor. Now replace the resistors with 0.33 ohms 2 watts. Pins 5 and 7 are joined together and they will connect to the ground. We will extend pin 1 using a strand of wire because it's not reaching the drain pinhole. Seems all are connected properly now. The fuse is blown. So we will solder again a resistor on the terminal of the fuse line to prevent fireworks. The resistor is 220 ohms 20 watts.
Now let's try it. We have no output. Looks like we have the wrong connection. This pin 3 should be soldered here. I did not notice it earlier. We have to desolder all the components that we solder just to reposition it, but they are so many. We will just jump the connection like this and it will be going to work. Let's try it again. Seems we have an output now. Let's measure the voltage using the digital multimeter. Twelve point zero nine is the voltage and drops to nine point one five volts. Looks like nine point one five volts is in the standby state. Seems all are good now. We will replace the fuse with the same ampere and voltage for continuous protection. Now let's try it with the panel and backlight are connected. Seems working now. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. The modification is successful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. You can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing to it. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. Once again I'm Teps. See you again next time. Bye for now.